Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Prediction. League One has just literally finished for this weekend, um, but it's back in midweek. EFL is always busy around this time of year. Um, before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. There's some of merch link from the merch down in the description below to go if we check it out after watching this video. Um, but anyway, there's a lot to talk about, a lot of results to get through, so let's get on the way. Guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Wimbledon versus Ittridge. Um, Ittridge losing 1-0 away to Sunderland. Wimbledon losing 2-1 at home to Fleetwood Town. Um, this point day for Ittridge. I saw that result come through, and I'm like, okay... Uh, something's not quite right at Ittridge at this present time. That's their third defeat in five games. In the past five games, they've only picked up six points, and that was about four weeks ago. So they're like, on a month without a win. Um, Wimbledon is a bit different. Down at the bottom, 28 points, only picking up four points in their last five. Um, 20 points the gap between the two clubs. This this is a must-win game for Richard if they want to either secure in the playoffs or even think about the top two. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 Ittridge win. My next one is Blackpool versus Gillingham. Um, Blackpool beat itself in 2-1 at home. Um, Gillingham 0-0 against Burton Albion away from home. Uh, both these clubs... Um, Blackpool, you got in 14th place, um, only picked up, that's their first three points in five games. Gillingham, you know, they have not lost a game in their last five and picking up a maximum of seven points in their last five. So I'm going to go for a Gillingham win and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Gillingham win. My next one is Burton Albion versus Oxford United. Um, Burton Albion nil nil against Gillingham at home. Oxford United losing four nil away to Peterborough. Um, both of these teams, you got Burton Albion eleven forty two points. Um, only picking up six points in that last five. Um. Oxford only picking up five points in their last five. There's two type, there's two points between the two clubs. I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Coventry versus Portsmouth. Um, Portsmouth winning 2 0 away from home against Tramier. Coventry beating Bolton 2 1. At home, even though I'm not playing at home, but you know what I mean. Um, great day for Coventry. Very much like getting back into the championship this season, whether that's throughout the playoffs or um, automatic. Still a long way to go. Coventry can still do it. And um, Portsmouth sitting in the playoffs. Point between the two clubs. Um, Portsmouth have won all their last five games, gives them a maximum of 15 points, um, Coventry got 11 points, um, so the only two differences is they're both undefeated in their last five, a point between them, I'm going to go for another draw and I'm going to go for a big 3-3 three -three scoreline for that one. My next one is Doncaster Rovers versus Bolton Wanderers, Bolton Wanderers lose a 2-1 away from home to Coventry, um, I I know Bolton went one 0 down in that game as well and came back one all. Um, Doncaster drawing one one at home to Watchdale. Um, Doncaster forty five points, picking up eight points in their last five games. Bolton Wanderers only picked up four points in their last five games. They're currently sitting on eleven points, seventeen points off of Wimbledon, who are in the safety zone at this present time. 
Um, I'll clearly call this game one way, and I'm going to go for a 3 0 Doncaster win. My next one is Lincoln versus MK Dons. Um, MK Dons draw 1 1 away to Shrewsbury. Uh, Lincoln losing 1 0 at home to Rotherham. Rotherham not got a game this week, I suppose they. Hopefully we playing Berry, but we all know what's happened to Berry, so Wotham got a break. Um this game's gonna be slightly interesting. You've got Lincoln in fifteenth, you got MK Dons in nineteenth, you got MK Dons of thirty two points, you've got Lincoln thirty seven points, Lincoln have only picked up three points of their last five, whereas MK Dons have picked up seven points of their last five. I'm going to go for an MK Dons win, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 MK Dons win. My next one is Peterborough versus South End. Peterborough beating Oxford 4 0 at home. South End loses 2 1 away to Blackpool. Um, South End are currently sitting in 22nd uh, with 7 points. Um, so, with 7 points in their last 5, sitting on 16 points. At this stage, Peaceborough, on the other hand, are currently sitting in third, have not lost or drawn a game in their last five, giving them a maximum of 15 points, what, 52 points. They're currently sitting on five points off Wolverham and just a point off of Wickham. This game could be big. I'm going to go for a Peaceborough win and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Peaceborough win. My next one is Shrewsbury versus Accrington Stanley. Um, Shrewsbury drawing 1 1 at home to MK Dons. And Accrington Stanley didn't play. Um, I think that's both Plan Berry. Um, so, nothing much to go on. Just talk about their form. Shrewsbury. I've only picked up three in the last five. At Quinton, I think they've done slightly better. Um, yeah, they picked, they picked up a point more, but they're two points off uh, both clubs. Shrewsbury is 16th, Acton is 17th. I'm going to call this game a draw, and I'm going to give it a 2 2 scoreline for that one. The next one is Sunderland versus Rochdale. Sunderland. Beating Ittridge 1 0 at home. Rochdale drawn 1 1 away to Doncaster. Not a bad point for Rochdale in my perspective. Um, Rochdale have picked up 5 points out of their last 5 games. Um, I think Sunderland have done slightly better. Yes, they have picked up 10 points in their last 5. Currently sitting in the playoff places by 1 goal. Um, this game going forward, I'm going to go for a Sunderland win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Sunderland win. My next one is Tramiel versus Bristol Rovers. Um, Bristol Rovers beating, uh, sorry, losing to Wickham Wanderers away from home 3-1. Um, slightly bit of a disappointment. Appointment for uh, Bristol Rovers there. Tramia um, losing 2-0 at, at home to Portsmouth. Um, this game could be slightly interesting going forward um, with the lights of how well you know Bristol Rovers I think it's only a couple of weeks ago they're actually sitting in the playoffs. Um, but Bristol Rovers have only picked two points up of their last five. That's slightly disappointing. Tramie have not picked up a point in their last five, so I'm going to give this game a draw, a very nitty, very gritty 0 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Wickham versus Fleetwood Town. Wickham um, beating Bristol, Bristol Rovers 3 1 at home. Um, very good three points for Wickham, leaves them three points off of Rochdale. Fleetwood beating Wimbledon 2 1 away from home. Very good three points for Fleetwood as well. Fleetwood on currently on 45 points, picking up nine points out of their last five. Um, Wickham 
pick up nine points out of the last five. I'm going to go for a bit of a shock, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Fleetwood win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Big fun, hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.